So I uh, wanted to do a quick review of my new E13 uh, dropper post simply because there's not very much info out there on the internet about it. Uh, it's relatively new. Uh, I'll start off and say that I am a relatively new mountain biker and this is only my second dropper post ever. Prior to this I had a KS Lev DX which was fine but um, you know it had standard problems and actually now that I uh, I'm gonna be honest it was kind of a piece of shit especially in winter um, so I recently got this Jeff C or YT Jeff C 27 it's their new model uh, originally I ordered one of their um, carbon frames that came or was supposed to come with a race face turbine unfortunately there were some manufacturing delays so I wound up buying the aluminum version which came with this E13 dropper post. Um, I was kind of nervous about it because it's all mechanical, straight spring, and there's only four positions. Um, there's the full on, down, one, two, well I guess that's all the way up. And actually that's my biggest beef with this. I've been incredibly um, happy with the reliability of this. Uh, it's never stuck. I've never had to do that stupid little uh, to get it to go up with uh, some of the cheaper pneumatic um, dropper posts. But I have been having a little bit of difficulty finding those, those middle positions. Um, what winds up happening is I usually am going downhill, I drop it all the way down, and then I raise it up just a little bit. Um, not the end of the world, I'm a punter of a mountain biker, so it's really not that big of a deal, but um, I have been having trouble finding those, those middle positions. Once I find them, they're great, but they are a little bit difficult to find. Um, the, the only thing that uh, really is left to say is the, the potential to rack you in relatively sensitive areas. The rebound on this is, um, I, would, I would call it fast. While it's fast, it actually doesn't have, um, I'm not terribly worried. I haven't racked myself in the, in the junk quite yet, but uh, you know, that's always a potential. Um, I don't think it's that bad. One thing I do like about this though is the shifter lever in that that paddle is quite nice, especially with a little bit of friction tape on it. Um, this is a tremendously better design than that little uh, push button on that Kind Chox uh, Lev DX or whatever. Um, it's, it's really nice. So, you know, this is just my little review of the E13 dropper post. This isn't particularly helpful. There's some professional reviews out there. Just thought I would give you my quick two cents as a mediocre mountain biker. Um, this is more than I'll ever need. I really dig the idea of servicing it myself. Can't or haven't actually done that yet, but I really like that. And just for good measure, So, there you have it.